very, very proud of our guys, um, especially defensively, like, like you mentioned. And, um, you know, we're getting better defensively because we're having some consistent habits show up every day in practice. And um, I'm happy for our guys to, to play against a good team, to play well on both sides of the ball for most of the game, um, and just continue to grow. Coach, I think it's the second game in a row that you guys have not only taken the lead early, but then kept it the entire rest of the game. What does that do for the game flow whenever you're able to retain the lead like that? Well, it definitely helps you win, right? If you, if you don't give up the lead, I think they, they kind of got it down to one possession, whether I, uh, 57 to 60 maybe. Um, but you know, we've made some, some, some adjustments with our rotations and you know, keeping Lukai out there helps with a lot of that. He really does a good job taking care of the ball. Um, and then getting people in their natural position helps with that. Uh, but ultimately, you, you kind of got to stop the bleeding with a stop. And, and I think that our defense is causing us to be a better team right now. When you, when, I mean, just you, you talked about just coming to practice with a different mindset and everything. What, what has been the biggest thing about that growth since night one to where we are now? Well, I, you know, I think there's a couple of things. Number one, our group, they don't enjoy not winning. I mean, they're competitors. We, we got state champions all up and down our roster. Um, so, so, so they enjoy winning. Uh, number two, they got, they got a lot of character, so they're very coachable. Um, and, uh, you know, they enjoy being around each other, so they're motivated to be there. Um, it's, it's just, you know, it's just part of the journey of a season. They just, quite frankly, probably got sick and tired of losing, I would imagine. Um, that's how they're getting coached, you know. <laughs> that's my attitude every day, I'm sick and tired of it. So um, I, I think that, that they've started to establish some, some good habits. And that, that's all this is, is, is consistency. That's it for this group. And you, you and what, what goes into slowing down? It's the number two uh, offense in the country, scoring offense in the country. What goes into slowing them down? You know, our guys, man, their, their activity defensively was great, I thought. Um, you know, you can't let their top two guys kind of get you there for 25 and 18. That helps. I think we held them for 24, so that always helps. Um, but but it was a total team effort. There are some things that we did defensively that I thought maybe caused them some problems. They're, they're such a great passing team that you – that this sounds crazy. You almost have to play bad defense against them because if you play good defense, they're going to read that and then they're going to they're make you pay. So um, our guys, they just had a lot of activity tonight, and I think that really helped. The three-point line, just uh, one of five there in the second half is good three-point shooting. The, the, defending the three-point line is, is, you know, you can go from really bad to really good overnight defending the three. Just don't leave the three-point shooters, and, and that's that's all we did. We just don't leave them. And so earlier this year, we, we would leave guys, you know, because we felt like we were giving up too many layups. And, then, you know, there were some games where we would make the same amount of threes as our opponent, so we wanted to limit some two. So it's just, you know, different things for different teams. But But – Statistically, this team wins when they shoot the three ball very well, and then they don't win when they don't shoot it well. So that, that's, that's kind of that decision. You're talking a lot about defense, but when you look at it, you had five guys in double figures, and then Isaiah had nine. Whenever you get that balance of scoring, how dangerous can this team be? Very, as long as you defend. Um, I mean, you, you've got to guard somebody, and, and you know we're still not healthy. I mean, we just played that game without Keaton and without DeMarcus. Two guys that are definitely double-digit scoring guys. Scoring will never be a problem for our group. Um, but I, I thought tonight uh, Donnie was great, and, and Donnie's definitely a double-digit capable guy. He's just trying to find his niche, and, and I thought he, he started to find it tonight a little bit. Um, and, and but but we'll, we'll need Zay to score more than nine. He was in foul trouble tonight. Yeah. What's up with Keaton? Flu. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we've talked about it enough, just how dangerous Jalen's been uh, just kind of early on. Is, is that just everything you envisioned for him, just what he's been so far? You know, he's making it a really high clip. To, to say that he that I thought he was going to make four threes at 50%, I'd be lying. But but I knew he was going to make shots. But um, he, he's he's such a great kid. He, he, he's, he's exactly what our group needed, um, you know, I don't know if you know basketball very well. There's a guy named Benny Johnson that played for the Pistons back in the day. You know that name? He's nicknamed the microwave. So go back and Google. But he played for the Detroit Pistons bad boys, and he'd come in and just heat up. And that's, that's the same thing that Jalen does for us. 
not quite ready to call them the microwave, but um, what do people use to heat up their food nowadays? Air fryer. Okay, he's close to an air fryer. <laughs> it didn't turn out to be you know a close game, but it was close late, and up being 12 point win, but still growing these. Uh, learn how to win in these close games, these conference play approaches. To the yeah, that was a close game. That, that was a one possession game under four to go, right? I mean, we just, but we did what you're supposed to do. Number one, we got some stops. We got stops. Number two, we took care of the ball. Although one time we almost turned it over. Uh, we can kind of bailed them out. Either either that was a timeout called or maybe it went off them. I'm not, can't exactly remember. But we came down, we tried to execute, get a good look. We got fouled, we made our free throws, and we kept getting stops. You know, so that that was that to me felt like a valley game. You know, I think our last two games have felt like a valley game. So, the last four minutes, you got to get stops, you got to take care of the ball, and um, you know, obviously execute. And, and I thought we, we we did a good job, a better job down the stretch today, even than what we did the other day. I thought the other day we were getting a little sloppy there, but um, I think that's going to continue to improve because it's we're emphasizing it so much, and, and you can obviously tell. Talk about getting stops, but you still have guys that are hitting these big shots like uh, free throw line of Donovan Clay, three of the first was kind of the dagger. Um, you, it, it, you have multiple guys who are closing out these games when uh, you, you, you typically think maybe it's Isaiah or somebody like that. Yeah, well, the other team, they got a coach too, and they're not going to let Isaiah Mosley mm -hmm. or Gage Bram do it. These guys have got to do it. Like that, that, that three Donnie made, there were three people around Gage. Donnie had to make it. I mean, he's open. He should shoot it. Luca the other night. There were three people around Mosley, three around Gage, whatever. He's got to make it. I mean, and but we got to get stops. I mean, it, it's because even if you don't make that, you're still up, right? But you, but but if we make it, yeah, it ends up being the dagger. But but we don't have to win with the dagger. We can win with stops. Just really run them off the three point line. I feel, I feel like uh, they're really good at shooting three. So I feel like our coaches had a good game plan. Run them off the three point line. Play man to man D one on one in the post. That's how we got the win today. And you guys had struggles throughout the early part of the year defending that three-point line. Just what was it about tonight that you're able to hold them one to five in the second half? I feel like uh, just practice, practice. I mean, defense is in practice. Like that's all we do is play defense. So I feel like we've been getting better and we continue to grow. I feel like uh, defense in games is gonna get easier. Gage, what was that uh, battle like down low with those guys? I mean, it's about mine. It's physical. It's tough. And getting elbowed, you know, every other play. So I mean, you sort of come prepared for it, and uh, you know, I just try to do my best. You look happy after something like that. Is that, is that more fun for you when people are going after you? Because this team wasn't scared of you. Right? Uh, no, I mean, I expect everyone to come after me. I expect double teams every night, and uh, you know, I expect elbows. I expect to get beat up, and I love the pain. You're not afraid to show emotion out there, but uh, I forget one of those plays late. You really were flexing into the student section and whatnot. And this is our house, you know, we're going to protect it at all costs. So. You've had a few more of those this year. And just seeing, like, the interaction you've had with the uh, crowd and stuff. So, you know, what is it about this year that you just kind of letting them loose? I mean, the first time I did it when we were playing at BYU, and, uh, you know, one of the frat dudes told me that we uh, looked in the right with the crowd. So I said, you know, I'll do more of that because it gets the crowd hype and you know, it gets us hype when everyone's out there, you know, screaming, yelling, and cheering. You shushed the SEMO crowd too with free throws at one point. Don't forget that. No, <laughs> no but it, the, you guys are playing good basketball right now. You, you, you guys have been, you've been saying that this was going to be able to turn around, but that's, that's one of the better mid major teams in the country out there. Um, you know, we just, you know, we take what we learn from our losses and, you know, we apply that, you know, day in and day out in practice. And uh, it's just about, you know, everyone's buying into what coach is telling us. and. Uh, Everybody's bought in, um, you know, just one team, one goal. And so, you know, we're playing very well together. Um, I don't think anybody cares about scoring. No one cares about points, this, that, or the other thing. All we care about is uh, having a W next to that uh, game at the end of the night. And you say everybody's doesn't uh, care about the scoring and just playing together. I mean, that's your most balanced win in a long time. Just looking at the stat sheet here. I mean, when, I, when Isaiah is scoring nine and just the high scorer is 13, I mean, you guys were all contributing. I mean, you love to see that. It's fun. You know, you love to see, you know, I think it feels better to get an assist than it does to score a basket. And so, you know, I know mean, you saw that one with Donnie where he put everybody on a high there, really. So, I just love seeing the on my team do stuff like that. What's Jalen brought to this team? Because uh, it, it, it's consistent, too. I mean, shit, you see it. He shoots that ball. 
<laughs> he can shoot the ball. I mean, he's tough on defense, you know. It's for the team, and I mean, he's probably he's probably the best shooter I've seen in a long time. Like, just I, like I've played with, I mean, dude's unreal. I, he, he puts it up, I think it's going in every time, and he mostly does, so. Don, to take me through uh, uh, your shot there, just kind of seemed to be the tagger of their leg, but, but like three. Um, just confidence. I feel like getting up shots in practice, uh, Confidence, you just bring confidence. It, you put the work in, you're going to hit the shots. And, and I mean, you haven't backed down from those. That hasn't been going in too consistently early in the season, but you keep throwing them up and that ended up proving to pull it off for you guys. Yes, sir. I've been, I've been in the gym trying to work, trying to get better, trying to get back to myself. I feel like we're going to have a good season. How much have you enjoyed this so far, just being a part of this team? I've definitely enjoyed it. I feel like it's a process. Uh, I feel like we're going to start winning a lot more. I feel like we're coming together as a team. You feeling better, Dave? Feel great. How sick was that? I mean, you're just kind of you're, you're pushing through there. I'm just talking to some guys, and they're talking about how, I mean, you, you have all these you the numbers and everything, but you didn't care. You were out there trying to put as much as you could, play as much as you could. When um, I mean, it hurts the numbers and averages maybe, but you're still like when out. When I was sick or whatever. Yeah, when you're sick. Uh, I, mean, I don't care about the numbers. Numbers don't mean nothing. All that matters is that we're winning at the end of the night. And so I mean, you know. Um, I tell the coach, like, I'll be out there, just, you know, I'll give you the hand when I'm tired. But right now, I'm, I feel great. I feel better, a whole lot better than what I did the last two games. So, um, good. Anything else?